Hello everyone, this is Gally and welcome to a new episode of How to Draw Your Dragon. Today we're going to learn how to use references to create different kinds of dragons. And I'll start just by showing you some examples of the things I've done before, so you can get an idea of what to use or what things you could get inspired on to make your creatures. So first we're going to start with a very simple design I made, which is called Oranges. And it's a, as you can see, it will be an orange dragon with green horns and it kind of looks like a crocodile. You'll see why. So here you can see he has an orange pendant and very bright colors and the head shape of a crocodile. The eyes are different as well as the teeth, but I've get, got inspired of some of the scales and some of, I don't know, of the skin folds. I added ears. So he's different, but he's based on, well, this character, this animal. So as you can see, this one is just inspired on a fruit and a crocodile. It's quite simple, really. So the next one I made, it's a blue dragon. He's based on a fish because he could probably go in the ocean and, and swim. So you can see his fins are translucent and when the light shines behind them they kind of change color. Just as in the first picture, there's light and then, you know, the, the fins change the color. So I based myself on a fish but at the same time made him look like a bigger animal with horns and everything. So it's similar, but it's different. And this could be, I don't know, in the season of winter. This one is based on the season of spring. And as you can see, I made the texture of the flower petals on the wings. They're not exactly the same color because I like to vary, but the scales, for example, and the texture in the tail or in the neck are loosely based on reptiles. So as you can see this time I merged flowers with reptiles. And for this one, this is a phoenix dragon, is based on a bird of prey, just as you can see in the beak and in the claws. He has fire in the colors and a scorpion stinger, different because it has a horn, but I based myself on two animals and fire, an element. And on the next one, I base myself on a cockatoo with the feathers and the colors and the colors of a flower. So this is a, as well another mixture of an animal and a plant. And well, I created a different animal, a, a dragon based on both. So as you can see, you can create various animals and dragons based on any other thing you can think of. Like a peacock, for example, I grab the face, the colors, the feathers, and the tail has the feathers of the peacock. And the colors are even shinier, I think. He has the elegant neck. I made this one a while ago, so it's a little different from the ones I make now, but as you can see, I still based myself on other animals before. And last but not least, I wanted to show you a dragon based on a crowned better dragon, a fighter fish. I think there ha it has a dragon in its name and when I saw that I was like yeah why not. Grab the fins, I grab the scales, the colors and I made my own design based on it. So as you can see he's in the water, my dragon kind of looks like he could be in the water and he has the colors and everything. So as you can see you can grab many inspirations from different things and create your own creatures. I strongly recommend when you don't know what to do or what to draw, go to the internet and find animals and plants and anything. And then just grab inspiration, make a loose sketch and go ahead and create your own character. I really hope you liked this video guys. If you liked it, please subscribe and share. There will be more videos every week. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.